My name is Dr. Todd Ehrlich, and I'd love to show you one of the best instruments for your lab. You know, if you're doing digital dentistry, you're machining a lot of restorations. And one of the things that we have uh, in our harder ceramics, like our feldspathic or lithium disilicates, we have those sprues. And, you know, they're not too hard to get off, but you have to go through a number of instruments to do that. And so there is what's called the sprue removal system that's a one-stop shop. It gets it all off and it confirms that it's off as well. So let me show you how, it's, how, it, how you use it. So this is the sprue removal system. It's a straight handpiece uh, burr. It's got two grits to it. Uh, the white is the more coarse and then the blue is specifically designed to polish or it actually kind of burnishes materials like this lithium disilicate this is um, emacs from ivoclar vivident and so you know we typically have a sprue that looks something like this and this is a pretty robust sprue that's that's on here but what i want you to to notice is how well this white portion i mean it just rips the sprue right off but how do you know when to stop Maybe you're a dental assistant and don't know much about the contouring of, of the restoration. You wanna have confirmation that this is off. So let me show you how that's done. So you don't have to spin this too fast. This is uh, fairly slow enough to where I could probably stop it with my finger. So it doesn't need a lot of torque. And then what you're noticing here is the white portion will just remove this, okay? So you can see that it's, it's taking it off now it's a little bit on the coarse side of course we want it to remove but you can see how fast that came off there's still a little bit remnant coming the other direction but now the beauty is this blue portion of it the blue portion will take those minor scratches and and pretty much burnish the material so you don't need a lot of speed for this and what's nice about this blue portion it won't remove it uh, so quickly that you're going to destroy the design but what it does tell you is if it's if you've removed all the sprue so when you're looking at this now you can see how it's kind of shiny the blue portion will specifically like burnish this material so if there's still any sprue left over like maybe this little hump right there you can go back to the white component lightly go over it a couple times get the contour right and then finish it back up with the blue portion. The best part about this is you don't need to um, keep changing instruments out. Uh, like I said, a dental assistant easily knows that there's the entire sprue is removed. And so if the sprue happens to be on the interproximal contact, you can rest easy that you're not gonna destroy that contact. One other little trick that I've learned with this, What's neat about this, uh, the shape of this is that this corner you see right here, kind of towards the shank, you can use it to, let me get back in the picture here. You can use it to refine uh, grooves, like this distal buckle groove, we can put it right in there and sharpen up cuss tips. So we got that sharpened up. And then you can go in and use the blue component to flatten it out or smooth it. You know, this isn't really something that's uh, needed a lot because this is mainly made to get the sprue off. But like if you're making um, uh, developmental grooves on centrals, this is a really good contour because it's so wide. I think probably one of the best things about the, this instrument is that they last a long time. You can get a lot of life out of them. And so what I'd like for you to do is uh, check out the sprue removal system from Wagner Rotary.